Logic. Logic. Welcome to the congregation. Welcome. Welcome. We're gonna sit down, grab a seat, get some juice boxes and some fucking animal crackers. Sit down, sit tight, you know. Put a turn on your little game system and be streaming on Twitch. Hey, welcome, welcome you with open arms, boy. Come over here. Come, come, come. Lodge. Lodge, get your biracial ass. Come sit down with us. Yo, come, come sit down with us, man. Shit. <laughs> I'm making this thing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so go there, you sleep with a cut up and turn on a tongue, you know what I'm saying? Number one down on this YouTube shit, you know what I'm saying? Still coming up, reaching for the stars, trying to get that gold. Nigga, I'm trying to shine, shine so bright wherever my dead partners is, bro. They see my ass, nigga. I'm more radiant than a fucking star, my nigga. I'm brighter than the sun. When I step on the winter soil, that shit turn to summer, nigga. What you talking about? Anyways. We back in this thing now. Logic, Logic seemed to like come to me. So basically, Logic dropped his album. What was it? No Pressure? I think it was No Pressure. That album art was fire, by the way. You seen the back part with the fucking robot? Yo, that shit was clean. Anyways, he comes out saying like, oh, his people's be hitting him. Like, there's dude Kevin Randolph or Rudolph, whatever the fucking name is. Anyways, he hits him. Other various people hit him like, oh, yo, was the check yeah, I'm supposed to get paid. See, this is the fucked up part about the label. Basically, when you have a label, you're a fucking artist. They give you a budget for your album. Now, depending how good you do, your budget either increases, how much you need to complete the album. Blase, 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 blase. They give you an advance, like promotion, all that bullshit. They give you an advance. It's not technically the artist's money. So whatever you save or you get like signing bonuses, whatever, you reach a certain thing and you get more money, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, he's creating the album. The label, like, we're going to pay for it. So, studio time... If he needs to fly out some engineers, he needs to do this, launch, like all that bullshit, he needs a house to record, you do all that ish, right? So, all these people come work on the latest album, they don't get paid, they're hitting up Logic. So Logic goes on Twitter, he's like, yo, Def Jam, what the fuck, pay these people, pay my friends, why are these people coming to me, you're ruining relationships, why are they coming to me? to get paid rather you have to pay them send the motherfuckers the invoice and pay these niggas this is not my responsibility you give me this amount this advance for the album i get all the make pieces i need to make the album the album is a huge commercial success that's why hey we're gonna get to def jam anyways album is a huge commercial success and yet you can't pay the people that worked on the album. Why do they keep hitting me up to figure out what the hell's going on with the payment? It makes no effing sense. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing that Logic reveals like, bro, I ain't really even make money off this album shit. So the fact that Logic is making more money in the other adventures he has, like Twitch and stuff, and touring. He never really got money off of the albums and stuff, which is wild. Which, honestly, and by the way, if you don't, I keep explaining this shit. In the other videos, go watch um does fucking does violence on music one and two. You know what I'm saying? They'll be in the end as the video things that pop up. But anyways, probably two because I like to do the recent video. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, but but um what's that? I went on a tangent. Yeah, this is the thing. The music industry is basically a fucking bank. They give you a loan, like how when you go get a mortgage and put put down your bullshit, you get a loan from the bank. You know what I'm saying? It's basically a loan. It's like, all right, we signed to you. You're going to make this album. Here you go. So they give you the advance or whatever the, ever the hell. You do all that ish. Spend how many, which, but like I said, if you're a motherfucker that go, let's say they give you three mil and you use one mil to do your album and the rest of the two mil you pocket or whatever, right? All the promotion, whatever. You just use the mil. They'll look at you. Oh, so we just have to give them another mil and you could do another album. And your budget get lower and lower and lower. That's why sometimes these motherfuckers just go outrageous and they overspend. So they have a nice beefy budget. You know what I'm saying? To do whatever the hell they want. And the music videos are that ish. You know what I'm saying? So this is the thing. Once they spend the shit on you, they got to recoup. That's what I've been saying. So let's say they spend three mil on this logic shit. Cool. It comes out. 
once they make all their bullshit, you know, then you start getting money back. So say, once they get their three million back, oh, we got that shit back, all the single money, all that, bull- oh, we got it back, all right, Logic, we're going to cut you a little something. So how many percent he gets, let's say he gets like 20, 25% of everything now. All right, yeah, that trickles down, and that's where the royalties conversations is, publish all that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They just giving niggas the plaques, and the plaques you ain't really keep. That's what fucking Russ keep trying to tell us, that being independent is a better piece of the pie. Even though Tony is on 37K, and it's not a big-ass number, because he's independent now, and majority goes to him, most of it at least, you know what I'm saying? Probably has to put in DSPs and his team and all that bullshit. But anyways, it's a bigger piece of the pie. So, it's basically, yeah, once you pay them niggas off, they give it to you. You know what I'm saying? A percentage. They're still getting money off of it, even though you pay them off. Because Masters and all that shit. And that's a story for another day. Go watch the Kanye video if you want to know about Masters. Anyways. As this, yeah. So, with that happening, the fact that it did very good. He's like one of the few Def Jam people that does very good all the time. We remember the Suicide song. The was it? Tits the True. True Incredible Story. True Incredible. No. Something incredible, true story, whatever the uh, the acronym was. That, like, bro, all of those been doing good. And the fact he even says he hasn't really seen money off that. The 1 800 song, I just want to be alive. I just want to be alive. He, he hasn't got money off that. Like, bro, what? Just touring in other ventures. No wonder my dude had PB on Twitch. He's like, man, I ain't made money off this. Man, I did this for the fans, man. Y'all got my retirement, whatever. Apparently, to his knowledge, when he was going off on Twitter, he says like, he just wants to come out of retirement because I guess he has a one more album he has to deliver. He wants to come out of retirement and be like, yo, you know what? Take this last album so I'm done with y'all, period. Period. That's it. I'm independent. And that's what he's saying. You know, And we see now all the time, if you don't know about Joe Budden, Joe Budden has retired, but I think he owes one album or two albums to Empire, which is like an independent record label. Yeah, but he still owes them an album or two. You know what I'm saying? So he's not signed, but if he were to go back into music and drop, he would have to get out of that deal if he wanted to go somewhere else, right? It would have to be honored, I guess, or they could talk about it, right? So, I, yeah, it would have to be honored by Logic to finish out that contract. But again, bro, this music business, I be saying it like, bro, it be shysty. There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes. That's why if you're trying to get into this shit, bro, hey, it ain't all like motherfuckers going to come and keep it a buck with you off a rip. Just shysty, a lot of bullshit be happening in the background. It's just crazy that this is one of your like good artists that bring in a lot of money to you, and yet you treat them like this. This is the crazy part about it. That's what makes no fucking sense about it. It's like, it's different if it was an artist, eh, flops, he doesn't really do ish for us. It is it's whatever. But the fact this dude, one of your best selling artists, probably is <laughs> like in. Some of that, that you're keeping the lights on in the office or whatever the hell. And then after, you, you can't even do this for him. Like, the album did so good. The fact, like, the people that worked on it aren't getting paid yet is ridiculous to me with the way the album did good. I forgot how much it did for his week, but it did amazing. Logic always does good, but still. The fact that he's saying he never seen, off of all the projects he dropped, he never really seen a cent. That's crazy, bro. Def Jam is basically young money. The finesses Birdman was doing to not pay Wayne, that's basically what they're doing. I'm just, okay, a, a little too far. Yeah. That 52 million Birdman on Wayne, that, uh, hey, that's kind of ridiculous, but. Yeah, that's. Fam. I ain't gonna lie, if I was Wayne, I can't be a Birdman friend. I, I yo, damn. But, anyways. I'm off this thing, man. Like, it's shysty, man. It's shysty. Anyway, hey, you, you got to be on your tippy toes, boy. If you think they're going to be 100 with you. But, yeah, I'm off this thing, man. Slime, zoom, peace, y'all. Ice. L's, gang. You what it is.